Hello YouTube and fellow Sentinels. Here we have box number three from the awesome August Evic Box of Awesomeness unboxing. <laughs> A mouthful there. So third box uh, just came in today. I got one more coming in on Monday. Um, weight wise, I'll tell you what I got here. It was somewhere here. Box says 19 pounds. Uh, they told me 18 and change. So thinking swordfish with a sniper, which is cool. Really cool gun, that little swordfish. So let's go ahead and jump right in, guys. No time to waste here. Upside down again. I tried really hard to get it right side up. So right off the bat, it definitely looks like that uh, Blazer R93. Yes, it is. Let's show it. The Blazer R93. So the plastic, the polymer that they built it out of, it doesn't feel that bad for the bottom half. Uh, I'm hoping it's metal top. And of course, yeah, metal barrel, makes sense. Let's see if I can put this together. Or is it a real challenge? <laughs> manuals. We don't need no stinking manuals, right? God, I keep getting my butt kicked by these guns on camera. Screws! Makes sense, right? You know, they didn't even include an Allen key, did they? Have a heart, guys. Have a heart. So, you guys can see it put together. I'm 6'1", so you guys get an idea of my size. It's a, it's a nice, good size rifle. I don't think it's too long, of course. I don't shoot my snipers, so what do I know in that case? Um, bottom is not bad. Plastic, it's a cheap plastic, but it feels stable. It doesn't, uh, doesn't flex or give. Metal inner, metal, out, metal outer is what it seems like. And really cool that they included the, uh, the top right there. Oh, definitely felt the force. It's pretty cool. Um, you don't have to turn up and go back, which is kind of weird. Most snipers are supposed to pull up and go back. This one's pretty much a straight. Unless I'm doing something wrong, it feels like it's just a straight back bolt pull, which is interesting. Very cool. Um, always wanted a sniper. Don't know if I'm gonna keep this one, but I do like the way it's made. So maybe I'll uh, start sniping. All right, came with the manual, guys. And again, the probably 20 or 30 round magazine. Nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna put this aside, we'll get to the next gun. The only reason I look is because we hope maybe a patch for that. All right. The six meter pro shop swordfish. This is a cool ass gun. It's solid. It's heavy. Um, ambidextrous switch, um, switch uh, fire selection. I, I hope that it, uh, it runs good because man, it's 
it's definitely a cool looking gun, man. Perfect for CQB. If you're gonna have an MP5, I think this is the one to have. To tell you the truth, guys. Solid, solid gun. Uh, comes with a very, very minuscule mag, probably mid, yeah, mid cap. Small. I guess a regular MP5 mag might be down to here, so. Cool. And what do we have in this box? Oh man, uber high quality BBs. Never used them, I'm not saying you can't. They did include um, an extra mid cap, which I think is the regular size we we're talking about. Yeah, there you go. That's a regular size mag. So two mags for this gun, um, small and big, whatever. Sick, it's got a nice foregrip built into it. I like this gun, very neat. And infamous airsoft sack to add to the collection. All right, guys. So this unboxing was pretty cool. Uh, I'm happy with it. Got the sniper riser, uh, sniper rifle, and we have the uh, Swordfish MP5, which is a, a very sick gun. Man. I like this little bad boy. Perfect for CQB. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. We do have one more box coming in, hopefully Monday, if the storm doesn't deter. If not, whenever I get it in, guys, I'll definitely put it up so you guys can see. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, always call your hits, guys.